You're probably familiar with YouTube's video manager, but did you know that Facebook has one too? Spoiler alert, they do. Double spoiler alert, I'm gonna show you how to use it. From your Facebook page, click on the Publishing Tools link. From here, you'll find your video library that shows all the videos you've uploaded, along with the number of views, date uploaded, and number of posts each video is used in. If you don't see an icon like this, the video is used in only one post. You have a ton of different filtering options on the right to drill down to just the videos you want. You can also go live or upload new videos directly from your video library, but more on that later in the video. Clicking on any video in the list brings up its performance details, along with the list of posts the video is used in. You can even create a new post using the videos you've selected right from here. Unlike YouTube's video analytics, there is no date selector, so all data is cumulative. That is tough to say. I'd also expect to find some way to edit your video details here, but I don't see any. Uploading a video from the video manager gives you a bunch of options. You've got your title, tags, and thumbnail on the basic tab, an area to upload a caption file, and some advanced settings that include the ability to sign a universal video ID. The ID can be whatever you want, or you may have an ID you'd like to assign it from a content management system. Either way, this ID is just for you, and Facebook doesn't use it for anything. I'll show you how I use these IDs to create killer tracking links in another video. Lastly, you can make your video available for cross-posting between Facebook pages. This is a little-known feature that deserves its own video, but it allows other pages to post your video while sharing performance metrics with both parties. Pretty cool stuff. Once you're all set, you can publish your video here or save it as unpublished if you want to work on it later. To edit a video in the list, you select it and then click on the Action button. Here you'll see a number of options, including the ability to edit. You'll be prompted to select a post to edit if there are multiple posts. Otherwise, the settings are identical to the upload settings. You can see I gave this video an ID on upload, but it's worth noting that if you don't give a video an ID when you upload it, you can't add one later. How will you use Facebook's video library, and what features would you like to see added? Want to take your video marketing to the next level? Click the key, get 15 premium lessons for free. Yes!